Hi there, welcome. Today is lunch with Hirok again, and today's topic is uh, car, car recycling day. If you find this of interest to you and it's of benefit to you, please share it with your friends and family. So today's topic is carb recycling. Carb recycling basically means that uh, that one day of the week, for me it is Sunday, I will be going hog wild having carbs. So basically what I am going to be focusing on is, hi Tim Fook, welcome on board, Alien, that's your name. Okay, what, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be having pizza and ice cream and all the stuff and, and fruits. I'm missing my fruits, so I'm gonna eat some fruits, all right? So carb recycling day is when I'm gonna have all this uh, high carbohydrate stuff. And then on the rest of the days, that means Monday to Saturday, I do not have any form of carbs. Although my friend will beg to differ on this. But yeah, on those days, I stay away from carbs, okay? So basically, what is the things that I eat on my non-carb days? Hi Jasmine, welcome on board. So on my non-carb days, I am eating vegetables, lots of vegetables, but they are not uh, reddish, they are not uh, gold, gold is booty, they are not gold, they are not carrots, there are no potatoes. Hi Leroy, welcome on board. All these are carbs and these carbs are not in my diet on Monday, to Saturday. On Monday to Saturday, I'm having a high protein, high fat with very low carbohydrates. The only carbohydrates I consume on these days is green leafy raw vegetables. Green leafy raw vegetables. And the only steamed vegetables I consume is broccoli, cauliflower, asparagus, long beans mushrooms, onions, all right, Brussels sprouts, that's it. The rest are all the green leafy, dark green leafy vegetables. Hi James, uh, hi David, welcome on board. And these dark green leafy vegetables are, hello Auntie, uh, Umiya A, welcome on board. So all these dark green leafy vegetables are, uh, I purchased it from, uh, what do you call it, uh, NTUC, which is the Live Well um, Mixed Salad, all right? It comes in a gigantic 250 gram package, which goes for $6 each. So, okay, there's six, six, Singapore, uh, Singapore, six Singapore dollars, not six US dollars. Huh? So in the US, it's different. They get a pound of vegetables or something like that for about one to two US dollars, which is even cheaper than what we get in Singapore. So for them, it's much more well, well, you know what I mean? For us, not so, but you will be eating that. For me, I break it into one third, so I take about two ounces of vegetables per day. That is, I actually asked how many calories is that before. Altogether, the calories from dark green leafy vegetables, which are in a mixed salad, is only 20 calories so you have to be very careful about this you're having all these dark green leafy vegetables which is good for you it helps your lower gut produce good bacteria so that it can help your body uh, absorb vitamins and minerals better so you need to increase your caloric intake by having more fats so have the fats which is good for you such as nuts seeds, uh, oils, and um, butter, as well as cheese. European cheeses, not uh, processed cheese like crafts, okay? So European cheeses like uh, camembert, braai, all the stuff, all right? Edam, correct? And then the last one is you'll be having uh, avocado. So all this will bulk up in the amount of fats you consume. So if you do that, it will help your body have the amount of nutrients coming in, having the bulk of food coming in, which will keep you fat and keep you satisfied. So this is very important for you. So make sure to bulk up your food intake by having more um, pulses or legumes, all right? Pulses or legumes. So basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna um, put it into water and keep it overnight so that the pulses and 
legumes will sprout all right when it sprouts you basically have a higher uh, protein content lesser carbohydrates in the legumes or pulses legumes and pulses are basically the same thing it's just beans the beans which is good for you is dal okay dal the indian dal cha dal yeah that kind of beans black beans which is the one that is eaten in mexican foods and navy beans if you would like to have it you can also have quinoa a bit not much because quinoa is still in the carbohydrate family and uh, all this so basically for breakfast all those people who are eating normally not using any types of supplements if you're not using supplements you need to have a five egg omelette for breakfast all right five egg omelette so what is that five egg whites and three egg yolks will make give you this gigantic omelette for breakfast i usually cook it over a low heat in a non-stick pan with one tablespoon of coconut butter but the my my friends and my trainers have told me that coconut butter is actually considered a low heat oil so what you so i'm basically i'm cooking at low heat so it's okay but if you want to do high heat cooking for for example for meats and things like that kindly use macadamia oil because macadamia oil has a smoke point of 412 degrees celsius so use macadamia oil for high heat because macadamia oil does not go bad as much as olive oil all right so macadamia oil for your high heat and coconut oil for your low heat and this will give you the amount of oils that should be coming into your body and it's good for your health so i was talking about carb recycling days which is going to happen this sunday so basically i'm going to have a large protein breakfast then i'm going to do an exercise routine and that exercise routine is 60 to 90 seconds of high rep h-i-i-t high rep um, squats it's called air squats or you can do a wall tricep push-ups all right you basically lean against the wall and then you do a sort of a push-up but it's to build up your tricep okay and then the last one the last type of exercise that i can do is to hold a resistance band and then you stretch it like as if you're doing a chest expander so Umya A would have known what is a chest expander it's because it used to be there a long time ago made by the Chinese companies. So you basically use a resistance band and you pull it across your chest and that's a chest expander. If you do about 80 of those, it helps your muscles get activated. If that happens and then what you basically do is uh, just before you eat your main meal of high carb, you have 120 ml of grapefruit juice neat with the fibers in it this will prevent an insulin spike when you eat the carbohydrates all right so when you eat the carbohydrates you'll find that these carbohydrates will not be absorbed into your fat cells and make you fat you've done the exercise you drink the uh, grapefruit juice squeeze lemon all over your meats and vegetables and you consume it during the meal and basically what will happen is that all these carbohydrates that are coming into your body instead of going into a cell and becoming fat it will be absorbed by your muscle as glycogen instead so basically over the next few weeks you'll see that my muscles will be looking more rounded and bigger why because when i do the exercise that glycogen stored in my muscles will be used up by my body to provide me with immediate energy so that i can grow even bigger all right bigger in terms of muscle not in terms of fats so this is the science behind the explanation of why you are doing it this way so don't forget for guys you can get away with one meal of carb cheat on sunday for lunch for ladies you have to you have to uh, you have to take two meals of carbs on Sunday. So you're basically going to do carb rich meal for lunch as well as dinner. For ladies, for you, two meals, all right? For guys, you can get away with lunch only. If you want to have both lunch and dinner, please 
help yourself, enjoy, just carry on and eat it, all right? Because don't forget, for the next six days, you're not gonna have any of those. And don't forget, I have already told you yesterday, for the rest of the days, that means Monday to Sunday, no worries. Hi Zara, welcome on board. No worries, you can consume one glass of red wine. One glass, 120 ml of red wine. You can consume it if you choose to consume it. I don't want it, so I don't consume it. Hi Zara, welcome on board. So the thing is like this, I'm talking about carb recycling days. So it is about how to consume carbs on your cheat day or the carb recycling day on this particular diet called the slow carb diet. All right, slow carb basically means that the carb is not um, taken up by your body very fast. It's actually slowed down. It takes a long time for the carb to be up intaked by the body. So it helps you slim down faster. All right, it helps you slim down faster. So this is the way to do the entire carb recycling day. So on Sunday, you will basically be seeing me shoot many, many videos throughout the day showing you what I'm doing for every step of the way so that you can see how I'm doing the carb recycling day, all right? So this will help you understand how the carb recycling day works and then please apply it into your diet plans or into your lifestyle changes and you will see a great change in the way your body composition becomes. You will slim down, you will gain loss of muscles and you will lose loss of fats. In fact, if you do this slow carb diet, your body fat, your body fat huh, and visceral fat, your visceral fat will become less than five and your body fat will drop to about 12 to 15 percent body fat. So if you are having a high body fat percentage with a high percentage of visceral fats, do this diet, try it out for 28 days and see the difference it does to your health. If you have found this to be of benefit to you, kindly share it with your friends and family and let's make ourselves healthy and fit and happy for the long term. If one of your New Year's resolutions was to slim down, please join me on the Slow Club Diet Plan, Slow Club Lifestyle Plan, and let's get healthy together. Thanks for watching. Have a great night in the US and have a great day in Singapore. It's Friday. Let's enjoy Sunday. Yay! Bye-bye.